So, um, Alex Morton was going to be with us today, but he is very, he's, he's not feeling well. And a lot of the world is not feeling well right now. Okay. Um, so he's not feeling well. So he wasn't able. So I, I called Jesse Lee Ward last night cause she's built a great brand. And I asked her if she would uh, jump in as a guest in order to be able to fill in for Mr. Morton and uh, Jesse Lee agreed to do that. So Jesse Lee Ward, are you here? Hey, 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 hey. How are you? I'm great. I'm great. I'm great. I'm excited to be here. Hopefully, uh, hopefully no one's too devastated that I'm here today. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. So uh, I'm going to give you the floor and I want you to, to, to give this audience the best advice you have as to how to build a brand from, from the ground up, from from wherever they are right now to wherever they're going to be. Like, your hat was a decision today. The background was a decision today. Boss Lee on your T-shirt was a decision today, right? The way you did your eyes was a decision today. <laughs> what? True or not true? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're calling me out, man. Yeah, yeah. Right, true. Right. Just, all but, but all of that stuff matters. The lighting that you have was a decision. All of it was a decision. So I'm going to let you take the floor and I want you to blow their brains out when it comes to great information in order to be able to build their brand. Go ahead. Take it away. I love it. Thank you. Well, hello, hello, everybody. What's going on? My name is Jesse Lee. You can call me hashtag boss Lee. And he's right. It's all on purpose. So I'm excited to be with you here today. I'm excited to fill in. Uh, how many of you are doing the 90 day run just out of curiosity? Is anyone really running? There we go. Michelle's running. Miriam's running. Danielle's really running. I love it. Okay, good. So then you understand I had to wear big lashes because I'm tired, right? Like it's day five. It's starting to get sleepy in here. So uh, I'm, I'm excited to be here with you. And branding is one of those things where if I can help you do anything, if I can help you build a brand, I'm going to give you a tremendous leg up against your competition. And all I really mean when I say competition is really going back to what Eric just said, which is you want people to think of you. You want people to say, okay, technically this is the same opportunity, but what makes it different if I join Tam? What makes it different if I join Tasha? What makes it different if I join Diana? Why would I want to be associated with you? And so building a brand is one of those things that just elevates you to an entirely different level for the simple fact that in your company and possibly in the entire network marketing space, you become a name that people start to associate with greatness. And the best way that you can actually think about this is Michael Jordan. So Eric Worre, of course, is the biggest name in network marketing, right? He's, he's the godfather of network marketing. He has led so many of us to so much greatness. He's pretty much every million dollar annual earners mentor. Uh, and so you think of him when you think of greatness, right? When you think of somebody who has just been legendary in the space and has put so much value, like, if, if, if Eric Worre is giving you some value, will you put a yes in the chat? I'm just curious. I want to see if anyone's learned anything from Eric Worre or did you just give him money like a donation or something? Is that why you joined Accelerator? He just felt like he needed some extra money. <laughs> just kidding. All right. Comedy is part of my brand, by the way. So we're going to laugh throughout this for sure. All right. So, uh, but I think about Michael Jordan. If you've ever uh, watched The Last Dance, has anyone watched The Last Dance? the documentary on Netflix with Michael Jordan, uh, or if you have read the book Winning, maybe by Tim Grover, uh, he has described Michael Jordan multiple times where you, write this down maybe, you want to be the person that when people are around you, they just know that they're going to get better results. Eric pretty much just alluded to that. This is no different for every single one of you. You can be this for your business. You can be this for your company. You can be this for your, your, your team, right? I'm very loud about that with our organization. I'm quite, I'm like, you don't have to like me, but I would do everything that I do because you get around me and we're going to win. I, I don't have losing in my DNA. So get around me. 
and you can be that kind of person. So I really love that, uh, that Eric really brought that up. So we're going to jump right into it. If you're okay with this, I want to give you some, some reasons, uh, some, some quick things that will help you start to build a brand. And then I want to give you some exact to do's. Uh, and if you haven't already done what Eric mentioned to do with the photo, and when you think of me, what are things you think of? Uh, this is the one where I always say, you know, hold up three fingers. You can do it exactly how he said, or hold up three fingers. What are three things you think of when you think about me? It's a very easy gimme post on social media. So love that. Okay. So the first thing, if you're going to build a brand is what is your clear message? Write that down. What is your clear message? You want this to be something that people think about when they think about when they think about, when they see something that reminds them of you, they message you because your messaging is so clear, right? So Eric mentioned stuff like, you know, I know the hat was, was intentional, right? Our team is branded. So I wanted to wear our teeny little tiny, look how cute this is, right? I ripped this from Louis Vuitton, by the way. Uh, I was inspired by them, <laughs> right? The shirt, of course. Uh, is is branded. Everything I always do is branded. People I know think about the colored extensions. They think of me. Uh, for sure, the eye makeup. When I did my live video today, uh, I told him, I said, oh, I, I was going to try something new, but I have kind of a standard cut crease look that I always do. So I better make sure I do that. If I'm going to do a branding workshop, I shouldn't experiment with makeup this morning. So Eric was right. That's why I was laughing so hard because I assumed he didn't watch my get ready with me live today. <laughs> Okay. But what is your clear message? You don't want people to be confused about what you do. And this is actually a big distinction from if I had trained you on this maybe five years ago. I do think that attraction marketing is pretty much dead. And all of the multi-million dollar earners were all pretty much on the same page with this. So just an FYI, this whole thing where you're sending people down this rabbit hole to try to figure out what it is you sell, it just doesn't work anymore right? People are going to Google it anyway. And if you start really leading like a professional, it doesn't actually matter that you post your company name or that you're very proud about your products or your services. You want people to think about you. Okay. So what is your clear message? You want people to understand what they're going to get. Now, inside of this, I like to use different platforms for different parts of Boss Lee. I'll explain. So my TikTok is a little more rowdy, okay? My TikTok is a little more out there. My TikTok is a lot of just wild girl personality. If you've ever seen it, sometimes you might be like, heavens to Betsy, right? But I've got this fun, almost girl next door. Uh, I'm approachable and I'm silly and I'm whatever uh, over on my, if you guys can mute yourselves, that'd be great. I'm just gonna mute my whole computer out so I don't have to hear you little fiddling around, okay? But my, my, my TikTok is very much so the niche of my personality. It's very much so I want you to have fun with me right? That's what my TikTok is for. There's some dancing on there. There's some silly little jokes on there. There's some trends on there. There's a lot of network marketing on there. There's a lot of personality on there. Okay. You go over to my Instagram. My niche is extremely heavy on network marketing business coach. Okay. Very heavy on the girl knows her stuff when it comes to business. You understand? So it's more of the lifestyle stuff. It's more of the, uh, you know, make money from home. It's more of the, here's tips on how to build a business. It's more of the business, business, business. You can join the team. You can join the team. You can join the team, coach, mentor, et cetera. That's heavy on my Instagram. If you go to my Facebook, my Facebook is a lot more, you know, almost family oriented, right? Yes, there's some business stuff, but it's a lot more, this is who I am. It's kind of my landing page. Here's, here's my family at Christmas. Here's my godchildren. Here's me and my dad. Here's all of this, this extra stuff inside of it, right? Much more of the Jesse Lee personal side of the brand goes over on Facebook. Is this making sense to everybody? Because I know some of you, when it comes to branding, and you can put a yes, I want this to be a collaborative conversation. Does anyone ever feel like you don't know where to put stuff and you feel like there's a lot of different parts to you and so you're not really sure and you don't want to confuse anybody and whatever, right? So that's kind of why I started doing this, where I started chunking out, my, chunking out the different niches of me in different places. Because I started to realize that I was finding different people 
anyway on TikTok. I was finding different people anyway, other places. And then my podcast is 100% boss. Okay. If you've ever listened to it, it is all business. There's not personal life updates on my podcast. There's not, no, it is. You want to build a business, you listen to this podcast. I mean, that is literally a huge, huge part of my brand. And so all of these little different sections, when you're writing stuff out or when people start to tell you, I think about this when I think about you, and I think about this when I think about you. So just add a little bit more onto Eric's assignment. Yes, do it where you ask people what they're thinking about you, Sarah or Brad or Peggy or Eve. However, don't just do it on one platform. This is how you're going to be able to figure out what people think about you on all the different platforms. Does that make sense? So you might start to get on TikTok, on TikTok, people might say, oh, you're the dog mom. Oh, you're the holistic person. Oh, you're the whatever. On Facebook, they might say, oh my gosh, you're the awesome stay at home mom. Oh my gosh, you're so compassionate. Oh my gosh, you're so whatever. And on Instagram, you might get, you're this incredible business person and you, you're so good at football and you travel internationally all the time. Well, then you're learning immediately what you actually need to post on each platform. Is that a big aha for you? You're like, oh my gosh, that makes so much more sense because your people there, there, you've got different people on different platforms. And so you can actually cater to each of them. It will help you. And then you can keep your message a lot more clear, a lot more concise wherever you need it to go. Okay. And then you're not going to have the confusion going anywhere. All right. And if you're currently only on one of those platforms, well, then you have an assignment today to download the other options as well. You have, in order to build a brand, you have got to have omnipresence. Maybe write that word down. It's one of the most important words when it comes to building a brand. You cannot build to a million multi-million dollar annual income by sitting yourself, parking yourself on Facebook and praying that people that are living on Instagram are going to find you. Absolutely not. You have got to get out of your shell, out of your comfort zone. Eric was whooping you around about some of you getting mad at him for pushing you. I'm just, I'm going to be a pusher then for you today too. All right. I'm going to take that as permission to push the accelerator group a little bit further. Okay. All right. So clear message. The next thing your brand needs to be is relevant, is relevant. All right. So what are you posting about? Are you posting things that are currently relevant, things that are currently working in your business, things that people currently care about? Maybe that's current events. Maybe that's things that are going on in your personal business. Maybe that's something that your company just launched. Maybe that's something, you know, that, you know, is trending right now. What are the different things? right? There's always little things that are, that are moving into popularity. You need to follow those things. And I'm not saying to be disingenuous at all to who you are, but this really is important when it comes to stuff like TikTok or Instagram reels or Facebook reels now. Okay. There are trending sounds. How can you utilize trending sounds to fit inside of your niche as a network marketer or as a recruiter or as a sales monster or as you know you're selling oils or you're selling water or you're selling um education for for whatever or uh, health and wellness or makeup or whatever every single sound if you're actually listening you can stay super relevant and you can go super viral as well if it is uh con conducive to what's currently relevant the next thing that will help your brand is <laughs> okay the word I want to say is passion because I'm pretty clearly passion personified. If you've ever watched my videos, um, I'm a little, I'm trying to be really directive in coaching you right now. So I'm not my typical bossly hype it up personality. Some of you are probably noticing this is much more of my coaching style. Passion is going to win. Okay. But passion about your vision. This is how you're going to build a brand. What are you passionate about? about? What is the vision you are passionate about? What, what, what do you believe you should stand for? This is a culture conversation, but if you don't stand for something, you'll fall for everything. And if you allow other people to dictate what your brand should be or should look like, you also won't have as much success. I'm really having a conversation right now with every single one of you about authenticity. Maybe write that down. 
Who are you actually? And this is hard for those of you who have maybe never used social media to put yourself out there for real, real. Am I right? Like how many of you are like, I've never done this before. And now you're asking me to talk about my life and my, my kids and my house and my sports and my hobbies and my, my whatever. That's terrifying, right? If I can just save you the years of mistakes that I made, which is pretty much trying to make everybody else happy, right? And just would would shove you more into just be yourself. It'll make your business grow much faster and you will feel much better about it. I'm going to go ahead and take that risk right now and tell you, please just be yourself. Hey, can I, I am a wild woman. Can I, okay? can I, can I jump like, in a second? Those of you who know me, like I say some things and I go, <laughs> Jesse Lee, can I you jump in what? a second? No, that's me. And the great thing around that is you start to attract business partners that you actually want She's to She's muted on her with. side. Can you imagine if, <laughs> <laughs> like what Eric was saying, can you imagine if you had this entire conversation? Oh, Eric's talking. Sorry. Okay, Eric, <laughs> go ahead. Hey, I, you, couldn't hear, you couldn't hear me. I wanted to jump in one second and just say, first of all, some of you got stressed out when she said, you know, go do all the platforms. Guess where you start? Start on one platform and then you'll add to another one. You'll add to another and you'll add to another and you add to another. You don't have to have them all right this second. Okay, so just breathe. Second thing, <clears throat> I wrote, I, I read this book called The Name Above the Title. It's, a, it's an out of print book, but Frank Capra, the movie director, um, wrote it about directing movies. And he said, there is one rule, and it's the same rule in your branding. Here's the rule. Here, there, one commandment, he called it. Thou shalt not be boring. <laughs> Just don't be boring. Find a way to be interesting. And, and you could do it with your style. My style's not Jesse Lee's style. But I think at least I show up in a way that isn't boring and is relevant to my audience, relevant to the world. So find a way, and, and, and I would also, I also have to say, um, <clears throat> it used to super stress me out when people said, just be yourself. Anybody else get stressed out when, they, when somebody tells you just be yourself? Anybody? Because I didn't, I wasn't crazy about myself. I didn't love myself. I mean, I didn't think myself was that interesting. So be yourself, but be the best version of yourself. Be yourself, but be the shiniest version, the most interesting version. And you can be authentic and not be boring if you just think about it for a second. So think about that as, as she's describing this whole thing. Be yourself, be a better ver version. Just try and find a way to be interesting. And it could be jumping up and down. It could be really thoughtful. I mean, there's lots of different types of brands out there. It could be fun, adventurous. It could be carefree. It could be, you know, serious. It could be super intelligent. It could be anything you want it to be. You'll find your tribe. You will find your natural audience. And I saw somebody mention in the comments, what if you get some negative feedback? Who cares? It's your brand. It's your brand. It's not their brand. They don't have to love your brand. I'm sure there's some people in the world that just don't like Richard Branson's brand. Well, good for them. Do you think he's going to stop because somebody gave him some negative feedback? Nope. <laughs> so, so long as it's you, you're good. So Jesse Lee, sorry to jump in, but no. throw it back to you. Go. Yeah. All good. And so one thing on that, what I'll say is, you know, with the, with the extra platform stuff, you're not going to be good at it anyway. So if the reason why you haven't le leapt into a TikTok or a, a podcast, if it is that, or a, 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 an Instagram or something like that is because you're, you think you're going to be bad at it. Well, let me just be the person who's going to promise you, you are going to be bad at it. <laughs> like you have to be really bad at this stuff before you're ever any good at it. So just keep that in mind. And the way you get great at it is by eventually getting good at it 
by doing it over and over and over and over and over again. And it's just like every single other, um, it's just like everything, right? It's just like everything. So that's, that's the honest God truth. So, but what do you stand for? This is super important that you know what you stand for. And to the point of what, um, Eric just said about what if somebody doesn't like you, what if you get a lot of negative feedback, I would be the person who argues that means you're probably doing something right right? That means you're probably doing something right. You're probably being loud enough for the first time in your life. You're probably standing out. You're probably um, making people whatever, but that's the only way you're going to stand out, which is my next, my next, my next tip of building a brand. Uh, and sorry, this laptop is going to die. I don't know why it's dying so fast. So I'm just getting an iPad prepared over here. Uh, Cause I have no laptop charger in my office. I don't even know how that's possible is distinct. Write this down. What makes your, there's no, there's none there. What makes your brand distinct? What makes your brand stand out? What makes people think of you? Eric kind of went into this, but one of my best recruiting tips, you okay if I give you a quick recruiting tip? I know this isn't a recruiting. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> Alex is like, please give me recruiting tips. Okay, so what makes people want to join you instead of other people? And it's always going to be something that is a distinction. It's always going to be something that makes people go, oh, I know the value I'm going to get from Jessie Lee because I can see it on her social media. Make sense? Think about this for a second, right? There's no question. When somebody stumbles upon my page, they're not like, hmm. <laughs> does that girl know what she's talking about? Or is she just making this up as she goes along? Like it's, it's so clear. Now, the best way to do that, then if you're like, well, I'm not yet an expert and that's making me nervous too. Uh, my, my best thing for you then is repurpose all this stuff you're learning. Those of you who go, I have nothing to coach on. I have nothing to teach on. I have no idea what I'm going to talk about. Everything that you learn from here, when you're going through, I would be taking notes. I would have a highlighter. I would highlight the important things. And I would say, here's one live video. Here's another. Here's a post. Here's a TikTok. Here's a reel. Here's a live. Here's a post. Here's a TikTok. Here's a reel. Here's a live. Here's a post. Here's a teach, teach. You don't have to be good right now. You just spent all this money to be part of the number one network marketing group in the world. You better take this content and the way you're going to make it part of you is by actually teaching it and training it. I promise. Okay. So make it obvious though. How are you different? One of the things that makes me stand out very obviously to other network marketers is my consistency. And the only way you're going to attract really consistent people is by being really consistent, right? The only way you're going to attract really consistent people is by being really consistent. The only way you're going to attract really high energy people is if you tell people that that's what you're looking for, right? I intentionally wanted to attract high energy people into my business because believe it or not, Eric will tell you, because Eric knows me very personally, I'm super introverted, okay? Those of you who think that my personality, oh, she's got so much energy. She's just too loud. Bro, woman whoever's listening to this, you are louder than me. Okay. I sit there in silence, like a little lamb staring at a wall. Okay. You guys are the chatterboxes. I got no interest in any of that. Just give me that iPad. I'm just going to log in it. This is about to die. All right. So, um, I love this. Debbie's like, no way. How, no way. How talk while you get in, you can't get in. Well, I have to, I have, I'm at 8%. So hold on a second. All right. So give me one sec. I'm going to mute this. I'm going to switch to an iPad. You guys okay with that? Be cool, kind of thumbs up so you guys are cool with that. All right, because it's going to do that rah, rah, rah thing. Okay. Oh, I think I have to log out in order to log in. So I might have to go for a quick second. I know you guys will miss me, right? Everybody's going to miss me for a minute. Will it let me? Okay, well, yeah. okay, while she's right. doing that, I'll, I'll be right in. back, Eric. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. <sighs> Give me one aha that you're getting so far from this exercise. Put it into the comments. What's one aha? Be yourself, passion, consistency, teach more. Just do it. Stand out. Going really fast. Yeah. Be yourself. Don't be boring. Thou shalt not be boring. That's the deal. 
<laughs> Omnipresence. Yes, that's something you ultimately want to achieve. You want to be everywhere, ultimately. Got her back. All right, Jesse Lee, go ahead. Woo, okay, sorry about that. I don't know why this is dying so quickly. I, I was like, oh, well, we're fine. We're at 60% and it dropped quickly to eight. So who knows what the heck just happened with that. Anyway, so I'm glad you guys are getting value out of that. So the consistency though, yes. And yes, I love this. Melissa says we're going to be bad, right? So anyway, depending on what you're trying to attract, that's what you're gonna need to show in your brand. OK, I knew that I wanted consistent people. So I was constantly talking about being consistent and showing that I'm consistent. Like I said, if you want. Um, can you hear me? If you want. Uh, are we good? Can you guys hear me? OK, something just popped up on the iPad looking all crazy. OK. All right. Technology, man. We got to love it. Thank you for those thumbs up. All right. All right. Now we're going to get back together. So if you want people who uh, have business mindsets, talk about it. If you want people who are very direct, talk about it. If you want people who are funny like this, is Mercury and Gatorade. That's hilarious, right? That, that's got to be part of your brand. You just told me it's so much about who you are from writing that comment. That's funny. Post that kind of stuff. The live videos I do where I show a lot of my personality and different parts of my personality like I just talked about, that's how you actually attract so many different kinds of people. All right, so like I said, distinction. Uh, make it obvious about how you are different and why you are the best, okay? Now, some of you maybe go, I'm not the best. Do you have a sponsor or an upline that is number one in the company that you are directly attached to? The answer is probably yes. You should talk about that. OK, OK, so you don't. Are you part of Eric Worre's Accelerator? Oh, look at that. You are every single one of you. Wow. And you don't think that that gives you a leg up against everybody else in your company? You're crazy. You're crazy. If if I, I, I were to tell you, I'm going to be pimping this out on my social media like like it's already paid me. You don't think I'm going to? Of course I am. Of course I am. I'm going to constantly talk about, huh? I mean, if you didn't know Eric worries my mentor, then you just don't follow me at all. I talk about Eric like he's my next door neighbor. I talk about Eric like I live in his basement. I talk about Eric like, I don't know, man. It's crazy how often I mention him. Why do you think I mention him? He called me last night at 1015. At 1115 Eastern, he calls me. I screenshot that sucker, put that in my story so fast. Your head would have spun. I went, oh, hell yeah. My phone's ringing. It's Eric Lori. Chink. Right? Because people, they need to know. They need to know. There needs to be a distinction between me and every other Tom, Dick, and Harry who wants to build a brand and recruit people. No. Eric called me. What do you mean? He's your mentor. He's my mentor and he calls me. That's my leg up. What's you talking about? You're on an accelerator with him. And there are only 500, last time I looked, 535 people on here. That makes you one of the 535 best network marketers in the world, if you're asking me. Yeah, that's right. She watched my story. I thought I was in trouble. I'm like, uh-oh, Eric's calling and it's late at night. I am in trouble. He's mad at me. I don't know what I did. That's got to be some childhood trauma or something. Am I right? Like, woo why do you think you're in trouble because your mentor calls? I don't know, man. I got yelled at a lot as a child. All right? The next the next tip to build your brand is whatever you want to be part of your brand, whatever you want to be part of your brand, you need to show through social media how you are credible and educated in that. And I know some of you think, oh my gosh, my brand, you know, I'm new to network marketing or your brand doesn't have to be network marketing. It really doesn't. I, I don't know if you know, but Thousands of my recruits come from TikTok, where I am personality, okay? Personality. So for those of you who think you have to be a network marketing genius to recruit network marketers, you're wrong. But what are you credible in, right? And we all know the network marketing profession has shifted so much recently, where a lot of it is customers that then upgrade to business partners, Right. Well, how can you start to fit in your product and or service into that? Right. Where you're showing your chickens, someone said, or you're showing like if I had chickens. OK, I do not. I am not the chicken lady. But if I were the chicken lady, I sell a product that gives you energy. 
So if I were the chicken lady, I would talk to, I would take my product and I'd walk out to the coop and I'd show people my coop with my energy drink because you probably got to pick up the eggs early in the morning and it, it's tiring. Okay. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not the chicken lady, but I feel like that's real. Okay. I would probably do some experiments and see how big the eggs get if I give my chickens this product. I mean, I don't know. I would figure it out. <laughs> I don't know. I'd probably call a doctor first. You shouldn't say make claims like this on the internet. But my point is, how can you make it part of your brand? You know why I think people quit network marketing? I think people quit network marketing because they don't have fun with what they're doing. I have fun with what I'm doing because I'm incorporating constantly education, credibility, personality, my personal brand into everything I do. Everything I do. I don't even sell makeup and I do makeup transitions because I like doing them. And then I can add network marketing text on top of it. Right? Everything is part of the brand. And part of my brand for sure is that I'm fun. Part of my brand for sure is that I have great relationships with people. Part of my brand for sure is that I am silly. Okay, if you watch, I mean, some of my live videos, I am a straight up comedian. I make myself laugh so hard. A bunch of you on here probably know the Jesse Lee laugh. And I'm like, ha ha, like, ha ha. Like I do that, like, I can't help myself. I start going into like a ha 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 I can't help it, okay? That was like fake and forced. But if you've heard it, you know what I'm talking about. Right. Like there's a there's a specific laugh that comes out when I am on a roll on a live video. It's just part of my brand. We're like, do the laugh again. Do the laugh again. I'm like, I can't like do the laugh. You just <laughs> I got to laugh. All right. So how are you credible and how are you educated on whatever it is that is part of your brand? And consistently that's next one. Consistently show that consistently, I'm going to say it again, consistently, consistency, consistent, consistent, consistent. The only way that you build a brand is by doing it consistently. Oh my gosh, we just played on my name with consistently. Lindsay Lim, you my girl, let's go. Consistently, that's right. That's right. <laughs> this is great. I'm going to start putting that. I'm stealing that. Thank you. All right. We just go whoop, whoop, whoop. Steal that. I learned from the accelerator. There we go. I'm putting that in my brand. I'm going to get a shirt that says consistently. All right. But for real, I already talked about there's not a day I don't show up, but there's also not a day that I don't show up in my brand. Okay. There's not a day I don't show up, especially in this 90 day run. My 90 day run looks like a marathon every day. When Eric called, I said, I'm so sorry I missed your call. I was in my 10th live of the day. He said, your 10th live of the day? I said, yeah, on four platforms. He's like, what? I said, it's not a joke for me. I have to be consistent in this. I have to show people what the pace is that a pace setter would, would uphold, right? Every day, oh, the fourth platform's YouTube. I'm streaming on YouTube now too, okay? So the, the, the consistency of wearing the same colors, you're gonna hear people probably talk about colors and logos and slogans and all of this stuff and all of that matters. But whatever it is you pick, I would say those things, the colors and the symbols and the whatever, they matter much less than you showing up as Tori or Paige, or Jackie, or Susan, or Shantae. That matters so much more. Who are you consistently day in and day out? And if you are actually building your own brand, because I know some of you are having a heart attack right now. You're like, this is a lot to do. <laughs> Breathe. It's not that hard when it's who you actually are. Does that make sense? If you've ever noticed, I've never tried to be Fraser Brooks, who's incredible. I've never tried to be, uh, you know, Damien and Stefania. I'm nothing like them. I've never tried to be Angel Fletcher. Can you imagine if I tried to show up on here today as Angel Fletcher? What in the hell? Okay. I'm not Emily Vavra, right? I'm not. Not only am I not blonde, but man, I mean, I think I like to eat more than she does. That can't be part of my brand. She's so hot. Like, that's not my brand, man. Okay. <laughs> like, holy smokes. I'm just 
me. I just show up as me. And my people find me because I'm consistently me. There's no trying to figure out what Jesse Lee's thinking. There's no trying to figure out how often I'm going to, you know, be on a video or am I, can I expect Jesse Lee to do an Instagram reel? Can I expect her to have a funny joke? Can I expect her to write a crazy, awesome caption? Can I expect her to give us some business training? Yes. That's my brand. That's my brand. Just like they have their brands and all of you have your brands. I actually want to say, I think a lot of you overthink the word brand. Do you know what the word brand is? It's just you. Just showing the world who you are. It's just showing people, this is what I like to do in the morning. This is Nozella's morning routine. This is what I do every morning. Okay, I'm, I'm Rosalito and this is what I do in the afternoon. Okay, this I'm, I'm Coria and this is what I do uh, every evening. I go live, I do this, I do that. That's what a brand is. It's not trying to be Eric Worre. Can you imagine if I tried to be Eric Worre? laugh together what the hell no chance no chance i would really struggle to build my business if i'm over here trying to be eric worry that's nuts and some of you are trying to do that get inspiration from other people for sure watch something and go oh i could do that yeah yeah okay i could do some something like that okay room two is apparently frozen by the way okay that's how you're going to build. And then the last and final thing around this, when it comes to actually building your brand, I could clearly be on here for 17 days talking about branding. We could get into colors and we could get into streaming services and we can get into all kinds of whatever, because there's a lot to it, but I can't wait to learn from other people as well, um, is your actual visibility of your brand. How are you seen? Okay. And where are you seen? This is why I push so much putting yourself on other platforms. Some of you think that you're going to hate TikTok and it's going to be your favorite platform ever. That is actually my story. I told our whole team, I am not doing it. I am not. I am not doing TikTok. TikTok is for dancing and teenagers and people who don't like to wear clothes on the internet. And uh, I am none of those things. I like to wear a lot of clothes on the internet and I don't want to do your little trending dances. And I am not a teenager. So I am too old for it and I'm too clothed for it. Okay. That was pretty much what I thought about TikTok. And then I said, okay, well, I'll be like the first network marketer who actually tries out TikTok and let's see if I can make this around a brand. And uh, clothed, not closed. Like I just have this different... <laughs> like, you know, I wear a lot of clothes, you know, I've never really been. <laughs> all right. You're not going to find any kind of nannying on my profiles. All right. All right. So anyway, I said, all right, I'm going to go on TikTok and I'm going to show people network marketing. I'm going to show TikTok that network marketers are legitimate business owners. I'm going to legitimize network marketing. And now our whole teams, I mean, our entire teams are on TikTok. We have our whole team branded on TikTok. We have all the team colors everywhere, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, where we will literally put out TikToks that go viral and we will share it with the entire team and we will tell the entire team to go duplicate on TikTok. And we have hundreds of thousands of customers from TikTok around the world in 40 countries. Because I said, all right, you know what? Let's just show people how great network marketing is. So think about that. Think about how you can just have fun and be yourself inside of this. And the visibility, try stuff out. You know, repurpose as often as possible. Some of you are thinking, I don't even know where to begin. Where are you supposed to what do you mean? How am I going to make a TikTok and then I'm going to make a reel? And I'm, you can download once you make one piece of content and you can put it everywhere. You can turn your Instagram reel into a TikTok, into a YouTube short, into a Facebook reel. I don't know if anybody's going to talk about Facebook reels today. So I'll just really quickly say Facebook reels are the new TikTok. Facebook reels. We have multiple people on our team that went from zero followers on Facebook to over 100,000 
in one month because of Facebook Reels. And now I don't even have Facebook Reels yet. I think because my phone and my heart thinks I'm European. Okay. <laughs> All right. So my phone's like, you don't get Facebook Reels, Jesse Lee. Uh, fine. Rude. Someday I will have Facebook Reels though. And until then, I'm going to continue to tell people that they need to utilize those. And so if you have Facebook Reels, start repurposing everything as often as possible. If it's not in your country yet, you guys already know how these social media trainings go. Six months from now, something changes. All of you will have Facebook Reels on the replay of this. But wherever you can build your brand and wherever you can have frequency, this 90-day run, again, let me ask one more time. Who's doing a 90-day run? How many of you are doing a 90-day run? I love you. Okay. You can't post too much. You really want to build a brand? You can't post too much. The for you page, there's always going to be something for you. There is no bottom of a Facebook news feed. <laughs> <laughs> have you noticed the Instagram explore page does not have a bottom. There will always be something for you to explore. There will always be something for you. Okay. There will always be something. If you continue to post, if you continue to post, you will end up in more people's feeds. You will period. So I, I was not kidding. When I told Eric, oh yeah, you're catching me on my 10th, my 10th live of the day. Okay. 10. I did everything from morning motivation, morning motivation. I did get ready with me. I did a training. I did multiple one-on-one uh, -on -one coaching, uh, coachings live so people could see it. I did pop-up trainings. I did, what the heck else did I do? Holy smokes. I don't even know. I was living on live video. I think I was live yesterday for probably somewhere from 10 to 12 hours. I even was showing people how I was making TikToks. I said, oh, here's how the transition works. You just go like this. And you go like this. My dog wouldn't stop barking. I bought them these puzzles so they would be quiet. My dogs have always been quiet. I made my dog smarter from these stupid puzzles. Now my dogs want to talk all the time. Great. You ever tried doing a live video with your kids running around in circles? Fantastic. Any moms and dads on here? Oh my God. Heavens to Betsy. So my, ah, 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 ah. I don't know if any of you were watching me do coaching live last night. My kids needed attention. I climbed on the floor and I business coached <laughs> half of the video. My head's underneath one dog like this. I'm like, there's a dog's stomach on my head, basically. I'm like, I'm sorry, guys, but I know we got to get this content done. You know I'm a dog mom, and I don't know what's happened. I made my dogs too smart. People loved it. They shared it like crazy. Oh, my gosh. Boss Lee is able to do business coaching at the same time. <laughs> Emma was there at the same time that she's taking, you know, she's taking care of her dogs. What the hell? A lot of you overthink, why wouldn't you include being a mom or a dad in your brand if you're a mom or a dad? If I had human children, it would be part of my brand. My God kids, I talk about constantly. There's one right over here. He's three months old. He's being so perfect. You didn't even know, did you? <laughs> right? They're always with me. Right? This is part of my brand. It's all about your visibility. It's all about your frequency. I want to challenge you guys to do either three reels or three TikToks a day. And I know that's going to scare the daylights out of some of you. Wait, what, what, what? It's so easy. Just go on there and steal sounds, steal ideas of mine. I don't care. Okay. We are one big network marketing community. The more we win together, the better our entire profession looks. Okay. I don't feel any type of way. If you steal my stuff, I love it. Actually, when I see, my exact reels, but with your cute little booties on there. I'm like, yes, hey, yes, Sonia, she's doing it. It does not offend me. I do not have scarcity around this profession. There are 8 billion people in the world. And some of you are so stressed out that you're over posting or you're going to ruin the algorithm. Come on. I think I'm shadow banned. Maybe your content's boring because you're not copying Jesse Lee's reels. I'm just kidding. All right. But, <laughs> but every single one of you, we can win together.
we can win together. So do those things. Decide you're going to win. Have a clear message. Be relevant. Be passionate with a vision. Be distinct and make it obvious how you stand out. Be credible in your education. We're like shadow boring. That's funny. Be credible with whatever it is that is part of your brand that you're trying to educate. Be consistent always, always, and be visible. You cannot overpost. The frequency matters. I want to challenge you with that because you guys, you can do this. You can build your business as big as you want it to be and building a brand that's all it takes. Be you and just do those things. So I love y'all. I hope you got something out of this little pop up. Jesse Lee wasn't supposed to be here, but she's here training. And uh, Jesse you so Lee. Much thank you. Thank you, my friend. You rock, you rock. Everybody put a number 100 into the comments to thank Jesse Lee for her contribution today. Thanks for coming in last second. That's part of your brand. You're available and you're a giver. You're available and you're a giver. Not a lot of people are. Some people aren't. So I'm grateful for you. All right, here's Thank what you. we're going to do. I We're going to go to a breakout right now. And this is a breakout where I want each of you to share what you want to be known for. I want you to, we're going to break into groups of four to six people. Um, I want you to take two minutes each and share what you want to be known for with the rest of the group, okay? So play all out. I'm gonna give you 12 minutes and we're gonna come back as soon as we're done. What do you wanna be known for? Two minutes each, 12 minutes from now. Ready, set, go. <laughs> 